it all starts with a phone call. To get samples from bluefin tuna, we usually have to have a phone call from a recreational angler or fish cleaner um, that knows the fish is coming into dock. From there, we get our gear together and we head out to Port A or wherever the fish is being landed. Well, we were out there yellowfin fishing, but as well, uh, we've seen some marlin swimming around and a uh, live baiting for marlin came up and grabbed it. We only get a very short window on these fish, typically three to four weeks, and weather's got to line up, people have got to line up, and it all worked out today. We then take measurements once the fish has been offloaded and take fin clips and, and kind of discuss with the angler what our sampling procedures are and what we would like to harvest from their fish. And then with their okay, we continue the sampling process. The fish usually goes through the process of being filleted and the meat that the angler would like to keep um, is removed. And then we start our process. And so we take otoliths from the head, which allow us to age the fish. We take vertebrae, which allows for microchemistry and sometimes aging depending on successful extraction of otoliths. We also take muscle tissue, which allows us to tell what the fish has been eating as well as what kind of um, heavy metals or mercury contaminant load the fish is carrying, as well as a fin clip for genetics. Um, each of these pieces are sent to different collaborators for different projects, especially since this is a rare species in the Gulf, we have a variety of requests that, you know, are kind of standing requests for us. Once back in the lab, we start our process on our end, and so for us that's aging the bluefin tuna. So we take those otoliths and we pour them in resin so we can then section them using a saw where it allows us to see um, the rings that are deposited each year on the otolith. So otoliths are used for aging. Um, they deposit rings each year like a tree and that's what we count to verify the age of that fish. And so in the case of this bluefin tuna, it was 23 years old. As for the state record bluefin, which was caught two weeks prior to this one, it was 19 years old. Getting that phone call not only allows us to get the best scientific information, but it also gives the recreational anglers a vested interest in this project. 